Hey goons, what's good? I tell all my hoes, break it up, break it down, bag it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. Good morning. So this video, I really just kind of want to talk a little bit about the um shooting in Florida. Y'all, when I tell you I was watching those videos and like reading up on it, seeing what the heck happened, what was going on, I am so disgusted that people are like that in this world. Like, are you serious? You can't go out to learn. You can't go to school without people just want to be freaking weirdos. Like, it hurt my freaking heart when I was reading those articles and like watching the videos. Like, I'm so disgusted. <laughs> I'm really so disgusted by it because you can't do anything. You can't go to concerts, you can't go to churches, you can't go to clubs, you can't go to school without somebody just wanting to be on some trip shit get a gun and come up in there and go ham like what is the point first of all 17 people killed 17 people killed over what a 19 year old fucking weirdo who got expelled from the school and decided he he just want to get a gun and go to school and and go crazy nigga kill yourself okay First of all, you're 19. You're 19. They, they did you a favor. You needed to be out of school, okay? You look crazy. It's just so mind-blowing to me that somebody would be just at home, regular, ready, like, oh, yeah, tomorrow's the day. I'm getting up, and I'm going to this public place where all these people are, and I'm going to just start shooting. I really just wish I could read their fucking minds and understand what you're going through because obviously you're going through something talk to somebody those kids were so scared watching those videos i felt like i was there and my heart was pumping so fast because i'm like i don't even know what i would do school was almost out i say a good 30 minutes left and we would have had a good day at school we would have been getting our learn on and we would have went home to our families and i know that the parents of these children were freaking the heck out and the fact that you couldn't even get to your child because it was like police everywhere. They wouldn't let nobody through. Like, it was a whole process. I seen somebody's hand in the video literally shaking bad. Like, shaking so bad. So scared. That is so scary. You cannot go to school to learn. Hang out with your homies. Say what's up to your teachers. You just can't. Without somebody just... where? How are people just getting hold of guns? How are they just getting guns all willy-nilly and able to just do this kind of shit? Like, that is so weird, nigga. Take yourself in a bathroom and kill your fucking self, okay? So, yep, I said it. Kill yourself. There's no reason for you to be going to this school with this gun, shooting people like you're fucking crazy. Dang, like, what is wrong with people? It, it just makes me so mad. It makes me angry, y'all. That shit like this can just happen. Like, I feel like you're really not safe nowhere in the world. Like, you always got to be alert and just ready for niggas to come and start shooting. Like, this ain't sitting well with me. That just, when I was watching that stuff, y'all, it really made me upset. I was really freaking upset about it. And I just want to pray for those families because those kids, they are going to be traumatized. Okay, they are going to be traumatized. This will be with them forever. These kids on the news saying like they was passing and stepping over dead bodies of their friends and <sighs> Lord be with us. Lord be with us and I just cover those families because I know <sighs> I wouldn't even know how to feel. So I, I can't even say how they feel, but I know that they were freaking the fuck out. And that's so fucked up. He deserves to rot in the fucking prison. Make his ass suffer. Don't don't give him the easy way out. Don't kill him. Nope. Put him under a rock so he can rot to death. Okay? Like, cause he, he deserve it. 
I cannot believe that you would go do that. Like, are you, what? Anyway, I just wanted to come talk about that a little bit because it's really disturbing. It's really disgusting. It's really sick ass people in the world. Stay in y'all prayers, y'all, okay? And I just really want to pray for those families. I pray that they can, I pray that they can go on to live in like normal people because I know that this shit is fucking, fucking them up. Like, niggas is not, they are not about to want to go to school, okay? They parents are not about to want to send them to school, okay? Like, I just, oh, oof. It make my insides hurt, honestly. <sighs> my God. And then Trump didn't even want to come address it like on camera, on TV. Nigga, you on Twitter? Our president on Twitter and not wanting to speak to these families, these children? What? <laughs> what kind? Let me not even ask what kind of person is you <laughs> because we know. <laughs> we know. I just can't believe it. Like, I really just can't believe that somebody would do that. Like, you strapped up on your way to the school. Like, not nothing in your brain was like, no, nah, let me not do this. Go back home. Or, like, why do I have this gun? Like, you fully just... What? 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 You, you gotta be kidding me. Like, that is not right. 17 people dead, 14 wounded. Over what? Because you got expelled from school. What did you do, sir? You you had to do something. You did something for them to expel you. And you took it out on everybody? No, take it out on yourself. Because obviously you did some fucked up shit for them to kick you out. And like I said, you was 19. You should have been out of school. So they did you a favor. Motherfucker. He didn't piss me off. I'm so mad about it. Y'all watch your backs. Stay alert. <laughs> okay. Don't be cruel to people. Because people <laughs> will get guns. And come back. So just smile. <laughs> hey. How you doing? You okay today? Are you okay today? Are you having a pleasant day? Don't be out here being rude. Because <laughs> they gonna come back and remember your face. Like, um. Uh, Hello, motherfucker. Like, it's not funny, but for real, be nice to somebody today. Smile, speak to people, even if they don't speak back. Hello, have a great day. Be blessed. Just talk to people. You never know what people are going through in their fucking heads, and they may just need somebody to talk to. And when you ain't got nobody to talk to, you, you come up with crazy stuff like, let's go get rifles and go to high schools and just shoot people. So let's do the world a favor, everybody. Be nice, be kind, smile speak to people if you feel like somebody is in a you know crisis or need to talk talk to them okay we ain't got time for this the world is really crazy right now and stay prayed up stay prayed up talk to your god okay and be blessed be blessed out here mm -mm -mm. today i want y'all to say something kind to someone else just be kind because you never know when people are at their breaking point you never know what somebody is going through in their mind. You never know if you, the way you stared at them was their breaking point to push them over. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what people are going through in life. So just be kind. Just be kind to people. Because we cannot be out here pushing people to the edge. Because then they get rifles and they come and they kill everybody. Instead of just taking their own selves out. Take your own self out. And that may sound mean, but I'd rather you than a fucking 17 fucking people, children and teachers dead. Fuck. Shit got me mad. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here because I will keep going on and on and on and on about this because I am so angry about it. Like, it, it really pisses me off. But I'm going to go. Stay prayed up. Be blessed, y'all. Deuces, goons. She's a bad thing, funny as hell, thick as fuck, oh my god, that's my baby, Caroline, you divine, mighty fine, shorty really blow the pie, like a pro, <laughs> fuck you thought, holy shit, I'm really lit, 